and welcome back. Today I am super excited because we are testing out waterproof makeup. To put on a full face of waterproof makeup and jump into my parents pool. I'm currently at my house, obviously. I'm gonna film this and drive over to my parents and get rid of my sister. <laughs> We're gonna see how this holds up to swimming in the pool. Kylie's gonna help me film that so you can see what it ends up looking like after we swim for a few minutes. And yeah, that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna do. So it was actually a lot harder than I expected to find certain items that say they're waterproof. I think I have a full face. <laughs> Um, I got everything at Ulta, some in store, some online. Most of it's drugstore. I tried to keep most of it drugstore, but some of it, like the bronzer, um, there's this is the only waterproof bronzer I could find. Okay, so the first step in my waterproof makeup is really in any makeup is sunscreen. So I'm going to be outside by the pool, in the pool, and you definitely need your layer of sunscreen. So I'm going to take this big old glob of sunscreen. And this is what we're gonna start with. All of these items say they're either waterproof on the package or on the website description. They say specifically waterproof. I was trying to find everything waterproof. This is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio 36 hour long wear brow pencil. And I have the shade medium brown. But I normally start with my brows while I'm letting my sunscreen sink in. It's just the way I've been doing things since I've been putting on a buttload of sunscreen. Okay, so here is the Maybelline Tattoo Studio brow pencil. It has a giant spoolie on one end, like an eyeliner pencil. This, not exactly what I was expecting, but let's see if I can make my brows look decent. So let's see. Try to go lightly with this giant pencil. Very creamy and very fat is incredibly creamy and I mean it gives you some bold brows so there's the brow pencil uh, it's not the worst thing ever but it's definitely you're not gonna get any like hair like strokes with this this is just slapping on a solid brow like there's no dimension to those brows whatsoever but they'll look okay when I have the rest of my makeup on I think so that was the brow pencil. Let's move on to concealer. Surprisingly, this was the category that had the most options in waterproof makeup. I never thought of concealer as having waterproof options, but there were several. I ended up going with um, a very inexpensive drugstore option. I wanted to keep this somewhat inexpensive overall. And so this is the Catrice Liquid Camouflage. And I have actually used this in the past. I recently decluttered it because it was very old and definitely needed to be thrown away. But this was, it says liquid high coverage, ultra long lasting concealer, perfectly camouflages under eye circles, spots, and even tattoos. Waterproof. It says it right on the package. So let's put this baby on. Oh, and I have the shade 001 Fair Ivory. I believe this is the lightest shade. So I love how quickly and easily this blends out. It says that it's high coverage. I, I don't think it's the most coverage in a concealer that I've had, um, but it's definitely a nice medium coverage. I can still see some darkness right here. Let me add just a touch more. And I think I'm going to go a little bit down the face because I have a powder foundation. So I wanna make sure I get a little bit of coverage and lightness down the center. So it is a little bit more of a matte finish than I'm used to in a concealer. It's not super drying though. It just, it does dry down, which I mean, it's waterproof, so it would have to, but I think it's a nice, easy to apply concealer. Okay, we are gonna move on to foundation. So this was a category that was actually a little bit harder as well, but there are a couple of options and I decided to go with a powder foundation that says it's waterproof because that's kind of cool. So this is in the shade Five Pearl and this is the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear 24 hour, 24 hour foundation and a powder. So I do have dry skin. I hope this does not look too dry and cakey, but we're gonna give it a whirl. So let's see how this looks. Here's what the powder foundation is looking like. 
I think it doesn't look too bad. It does look slightly powdery, but I'm going to use a setting spray in a little bit to see if that helps with that. Okay, so the foundation seems to be a fairly good shade match. It does feel a little bit dry on me, but we're gonna move on. The waterproof bronzer I found is the Tarte Park Avenue Princess, and the shade looks like it's going to be a good match for me. So let's, ooh, ooh, what does it smell like? It smells like a snow cone place, like the syrup yeah. of a snow cone. It does kind of like, like the, the tropical scents. Yeah. Like, like a pina colada like snow a cone. Like a pina colada snow cone. Yeah. Ooh. I like the tone of this. It's nice. Not too dark for me. What? I have like a spot here that looks like it's not blended or something. Like it has a, a darker. Yep. Well, I went like this and then yeah. blend. Okay, so there's the bronzer. I like the way it applied. I like the color. It looks very good. I'm actually gonna take the bronzer and just put it in the crease of my eye. I do have an eyeshadow, but I have one. And so I wanna have a nice transition of this bronzer. So I have a little bit of dimension in the crease of my eye now. Let's move on to blush. There were not many blush options. Catrice actually had two. Catrice has two different blushes that are waterproof. But this one, I really liked the way it looked. So this is the Catrice Blush Box. And it's just so pretty. It's in the shade 020. It's wine o'clock. Love the way this looks. It's so pretty. Beautiful. It's quite dusty. Do you see how dusty that packaging is now? Okay. There is the blush, and I think that is a beautiful color. My skin looks nice and smooth. I'm gonna do eyeshadow next. So there were a couple of different cream shadows that it was kind of hit or miss whether they said they were waterproof, but this one on the website says it's waterproof, and it's another Maybelline tattoo. This is a color tattoo line, and in the shade High Roller, it is the 24-hour wear eyeshadow. It's a little bit more coppery, than I normally like, but it was kind of hard to see the shade online. I'm gonna start with a brush. How this applies. Well, oh, that's pretty. Oh, it's not as like warm toned as I thought it was gonna be, so I like this. So I'm gonna lay that color down with this brush. I may get a different brush to blend that edge. Let me see how this works. Or my finger. See, that's a pretty color, right? I think it's gorgeous. Ooh, I like this one. All right, so this is supposed to be waterproof and long wearing, so I'm curious to see how that was. Curious to see how well this lasts. I'm just gonna drop everything. I'm good, I'm good, we're good. Rolling with the homies. I like that, even just to wear as everyday eyeshadow. That is beautiful. I'm kind of shocked. Well, I have one of those. I'm shooketh. I'm gonna put a tiny little bit more of the bronzer in my crease just to kind of finish off this. And then under the eyeball. All right, move on to eyeliner. What do I have in the magic bag? I have the, another Maybelline Tattoo Studio product. A lot of their stuff is waterproof. So this is the waterproof 34 hour wear tattoo sharpenable gel pencil. There is the black, it's pretty black, pretty smooth. So let's start with my waterline actually. And then I think I'm gonna do a smudged liner look on top. Next up is mascara. I got the Sky High Waterproof. I have not tried the Sky High and I've heard a lot about it, so I figured I'd try the Sky High. Waterproof. Oh, 
This is a lot different than I expected. You see these mascaras that go viral and then you try them and you're like, what? Why? Everyone has different mascara preferences though, so. I don't know how I feel, guys. The I'm not a huge fan of the wand. I feel like it's... I'm having to fight to separate my lashes. Like, it wants to clump them into, like, three lashes. I don't know. I don't know how I feel about this. No. It looks okay. It's not, it's not my favorite. All right, so we are almost done. I have lip liner and lipstick left. <laughs> it's funny. When I went in Ulta to shop, I actually had the the workers in Ulta running around looking for a waterproof lip liner and there weren't any in the store that like said waterproof or that they knew of but I found this online found this online and this is from Essence and it is a waterproof pencil this is their stay lip liner eight hour waterproof with sharpener it actually says waterproof right there on the packaging so I have the shade mood don't pinch me. Don't pinch but it's pretty creamy all right, so there's the lip liner. It applied very easily, very beautifully. And I have been dying to try anything from Nude Sticks. And I picked this up on Ulta.com. One of their magnetic matte lip colors. So let's open this baby up and see what it looks like. I have the shade Rose. So let's see what this looks like. Ooh, it goes very well with that lip liner. It's like I planned it or something. I like the color. I'm not a huge fan of matte lip products because I feel like it makes my lips look, you know, 50 years old. But it looks pretty and I can always put a gloss on top, which is what I'm going to do. Um, but yeah, here is, here's the finished waterproof face. So we are going to drive over to my mom's now. We are going to hop in the swimming pool. I'm gonna go underwater and see what this looks like when I come back out. See if anything held up, if it all held up. Um, I also, hold on, well, I wanna do a setting spray real quick. So I have the Scandinavia, the makeup finishing spray. So that is it. We're gonna head off to the pool and I will see you there. All right, so we are at the pool. It's been several hours later and we had lunch. So I'm gonna tub up, tub, touch up the lipstick real quick. I mean, it only faded a little bit on this inner portion of the lips. So it still looks like a desert on my lips, but you know. All right, so we're gonna see how this makeup lasts. I'm gonna go under the water, come back up. See what it looks like and then we're just gonna play and swim like we normally would we've got a slide we're gonna swim underwater and then we'll look at it again but let's see how the initial dunk goes right. oh. <laughs> sorry that was hard to do so, how's still it looking there is everything still there looks like it <gasps> mascara eyeshadow oh. still so okay well, all right so we're just gonna play have fun i may take you down the slide with me and uh, yeah, then we'll see what it's looking like after, you know, 30 minutes of being in the water instead of just, you know, ducking under, so. All right, here is the slide. Let me show you. Slide. All right, let's do this. <laughs> oh gosh. <laughs> I can't see what's going on. I want to rub my eyes. They doing fine? Yeah. Still holding strong? Yeah, it is. All right, so we're going to keep playing. And uh, yeah, I will check in in a little bit to let you see it. <laughs> I am thoroughly impressed. There's still eyeshadow on, there's still mascara. Nothing has run down my face. The lipstick has faded the most, like it's almost gone. But like there's still blush and bronzer on my face. <laughs> and I swim a lot. Uh, eyeshadow is still there. The eyeliner is still there. I am shocked that I thought I was going to have to wash my face and put more makeup on because I'm about to leave and go somewhere. Um, but I think I can just leave this on and touch up the lips and I'm good to go. I am I'm thoroughly shocked. So I'm going to go ahead and end this video here. I hope that you 
<laughs> I hope that you enjoyed this. I enjoyed testing out this makeup. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy this, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already and want to see future videos, hit that subscribe button down below and I'll see you guys next time. Stay gorgeous. Bye. Shocked. She's going to help me film. <laughs> it's really thick pencil. It's like an eyeliner. How is this a brow pencil? I'm going to start with